Good morning, folks. The sun gave us some gorgeous eruptions over the last day and a half. We expect earthquakes within about 36 hours, and we'll take a peek in at the mystery developing at Antarctica's Deception Island. But first, we're at spaceweathernews.com checking in on the last day of our star and finding only dark coronal holes in the Earth-facing longitudes. But one's eye can't help but stray to the left towards the limb. That's where all the fun is. The eruption we saw yesterday was merely the beginning as the filaments nearby destabilized and began ripping away. A note, these eruptions are all aimed at Jupiter right now, and yes, Juno is on its way there, set to be there in about a week and a half. We've seen these CMEs affect our craft at other planets a few times already in the last year. Jupiter, just barely above Earth's orbital path, basically on the heliospheric equator and directly in the line of fire. The solar flaring remains very low, no sunspots on the disk, and this probably isn't going to change today. It appears that the solar wind presented that other stream we mentioned, but that it was very weak, producing no global instability, and only isolated local events that were short-lived themselves. How about some Earth spot quakes? Three largest of the last day all hit around the region that spawned the only tropical system on alert right now heading at the Philippines, and this area always gets active when the tropics do. Hopefully neither the quakes nor the storm will intensify. Other quake news includes the North Atlantic uptick breaking into 5 magnitude range and worth an eye, also getting to that mark south of Tasmania. The trans-equatorial portion of this next coronal hole system here is crossing the Earth-facing longitudes now, so we should be within about a day and a half of some stronger seismicity. Haven't had a 6 in a few days here. Let's move on to this. Way south near Antarctica, there is a strange site on Google Earth that isn't recognized as being something that should be there. Guesses range from a water UFO to a rock formation. Well, whatever it is, it's a mystery until the southern winter breaks and someone can get there safely. Primary weather alert today comes to the Midwest and areas just east towards the Atlantic. The system bringing storm Saturday night will do so again as it moves east over Sunday and into the evening hours. Local forecast folks, pay attention. Our fly on the wall posted yesterday and pretty much every single topic had an electric edge to it. We definitely had fun. We've got the rest of the world's pressure and radar forecast for today followed by shots of our star to close. It's not quite 3 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh, oh, oh.